Something I really enjoy about traveling around in a micro tiny car camper is the ability to go and sleep wherever it is that I want to wake up in the morning. I'm stealth camping tonight. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. This is home sweet home for the night. Good night, guys. It's <laughs> super dark. That is my little flashing alarm, I guess. I'm safe. This is keeping me safe. <laughs> Anyways, I'm all tucked in. Dang, guys, I had an emergency. And I turned a little light on, but you really can't see it here. So I guess that's a good sign. Hopefully people outside can't see it. But I almost forgot to soak my food for tomorrow, my grains and my legumes. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And I love how stinky my water smells. <laughs> If you didn't see that video, I promise it's not a bad thing. And we're just waking up because something is about to happen. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to be, be a, I'm trying to be a bit incognito here and I freaking See, that's what I'm saying. It's protecting me. It's keeping me safe. But if I open my door without unlocking it, that happens. And I've done that a few times and I'm like trying to be a little bit, you know, don't notice me. Let's try that again. All right, it's still dark out here. You may think it's still nighttime, but look over there. There is something that is happening. And that's why we're here. The moon is still up. Oh my goodness, it's magical. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, and it's warm. I think the low last night was 60. It's the warmest night it's been, and I was so cozy and warm. This is my little fridge here. And as you can see, I am completely out of produce and that is gonna factor into where we're at today. But I'm just getting my uh, matcha in here. The only things I have in here, I've got some Brazil nuts, some acerilla powder, uh, some bee pollen, some hemp seeds, and some almonds. Oh my goodness, the sun is coming. The sunrise is coming. Guess where I am, guys. <laughs> I'm in a place called Hot Springs, Arkansas, and it's honestly because of one of you guys, one of my amazing subscribers, just kept hyping up Arkansas in the comment section like nothing I've ever seen before. So I was like, you know what? Man, I gotta go there and check it out. Yesterday, I ran out of produce, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna search for a health food store. And I did find a really cool one that looks really cool like a half an hour away, so I do wanna check that out, maybe. But I also saw that where I am, Hot Springs, Arkansas was having a farmer's market and they have it one day a week and it happened to be today, the day that I need produce. So we're about to go check that out. And then there's a couple other things that I'm really excited to do today, as well as, 
It's a little bit different of an experience that I was anticipating Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I'm gonna tell you about that in a little bit. But something that did just happen to me, this man walked over, he was like, are you okay? <laughs> Because I was like standing doing stuff around my car. I think he walked back and forth like all morning and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm just doing stuff around my car. He's 87 and has been living here his whole entire life. Look at the moon. And I was like, my goodness, such a different experience than my life. That's what I was thinking. But he said that this town used to be a gambling town, but not legal. Like it wasn't legal gambling, but he was like, yeah, you know, 60 years ago or in the 60s, <gasps> he said this town used to be a gambling town. So that's a little tidbit from a local who's born, raised, and lived here all his life. I don't know if you're gonna find that on Google. And then one other thing he said is there's a creek down there and he's like, yeah, up the way, you can take a bath. And I'm like, oh, really? Getting excited, but he was just saying it cause like all the homeless people go there and take baths. And I was like, oh man, I would've been down, but I don't wanna go there if there's gonna be a bunch of people taking baths. He did say that there's a lot of homeless people in this area and that they just did a big like sweep of them or did something last last week so they can't all um, just be here by this creek all the time camping out and stuff. And it was really interesting to hear that because where I'm from in California, it's a, there's a ton of homeless people as well. All right, now you can see the moon's still there, but now you can really see where I slept because I was going to be the first person at the farmer's market first pick of the veggies <laughs> but I'm actually a little bit late it's 7 30 they open at 7 um, I'm just finishing my tea and then we're gonna go I love how the farmer's market here is such a staple in the community that it has a permanent home under this wooden dwelling. It was really wonderful being able to walk down the aisle and see all the various goods from the local community. There was beautiful handmade items that were really wonderful. All different sorts of goods, even these batons or batons that were made for fighting. Apparently it's a thing. Also, some really wonderful produce. I really, really enjoyed getting local produce from local farms. And I even found some duck eggs, which was for me a real treat. I got spinach, some mustard greens, some eggplant, zucchini, purple bell pepper, and something I've never seen before, red okra. After I put my produce away, I wanted to go down to the creek to wash my legumes. Here I'm just rinsing and washing some red lentils that I had soaking. And this was kind of when I had a oh my gosh moment because I put my hand in the stream and I realized it was warm. Warm like it had been fed from hot spring water and I was like wow, it's amazing. <laughs> In Hot Springs, Arkansas, they have Hot Springs National Park. And this is the reason I thought my experience here was gonna be so different. I envisioned going to Hot Springs National Park, going off, hiking, and finding some hot springs, you know, in the middle of the woods where there's not that many people and I can just soak in natural hot springs in the middle of the nature. It's not like that. I've talked to a couple locals and they've said, no, if you wanna get in that water, you have to go to the bathhouses. So a big thing here are the bathhouses, and then you get to bathe in the natural, mineral-rich water from this area. I wonder if this is where he was talking about. It gets pretty deep in there. And it is so warm. This is wonderful, magical spring-fed water. My goodness. This is just running through the town. 
Um, the farmer's market is right up there and then the town is kind of in this area and oh dang friends, I think later you know what we're gonna have to do. Take a bath in this magical water. I was talking with a local yesterday and they said you gotta check out Lake Wichita. They said it's absolutely breathtaking and you gotta check it out before you go. So that's where we're headed right now. a long gravel road actually but it's well maintained no big potholes or divots to look out for so it's not too grueling This view spot is a destination for tourists and locals alike. This spot in particular was recommended to me by a local and they said it really was not to be missed. And after getting here and looking at it, you can really see, I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice for how expansive and beautiful it actually is in person. And you know what? I was like, this is the perfect place for me to eat some food. So I cooked up some yummy goodness with some of the local produce and perched on this little corner so I could take in all the sights while I eat my meal. It felt really, really wonderful to be outside looking at such a wonderful view, eating some wonderful... <laughs> Can I say wonderful any more times, but eating some of the greens that I just bought at the local farmer's market. And to make it even more interesting, I got to watch this site while I ate my food. But seeing the lake so far away really wasn't enough for me. It just made me want to get a different kind of view. So I decided to drive somewhere that I could be close to the lake and actually get in the water. Now, I looked everywhere and I was like, okay, no one is around, it's a good time to get in. So I took the opportunity to take a dip. And then I wanted to do a nice meditation in the woods next to the water so I found a good spot and closed my eyes and did a short 15 or 20 minute meditation which felt really nice in the wonderful nature and after that I took myself to see a movie my family in California went to go see Dune today so I thought that I would go see Dune today as well it was really good and here I am in the night taking a bath in the warm creek and it really did feel like bath water. It was amazing. I honestly can't believe more locals don't do this. And now it's the next morning. I actually pulled in this lot to do some computer work and this is where something happened. So it's super weird, but look at my tires. <laughs> I was parked somewhere and these two tires are completely flat. Luckily I'm in a town <laughs> and uh, I'm not out in the boonies somewhere. My goodness. So I guess I'm just gonna be here at the spot that I'm posted at until morning when I can go to the tire place. I had a nice mineral bath scheduled for the morning but I'm gonna have to cancel. Wondering if I can drive 0.6 miles to the tire place with flat tires. I do have AAA, thank God. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm contacting my fam. <laughs> I need advice. Luckily, I am a self-preserved unit, so making some food, got plenty of water. I've got everything to need. I need to survive. So I called and left a message at Quapa Spa where I was gonna get the mineral bath for 30 bucks. <laughs> And they called me back and the dude recommended this place that's the best. They said if they can fix the tire, they usually do it for like 15 bucks. 
so that's what I'm really hoping for and it happens to be you are not gonna believe this three minute drive so I'm like oh, can I drive that far can I do it <laughs> I don't know man they are so flat I'm eating those mustard greens with some moong dal and millet and other stuff mmm I'm really good here look at them from this angle totally flat well, the sun is approaching, the shade is leaving, so I put my reflectors in everywhere. But it's actually a pretty warm day. So you can see there's everything 81 degrees, so it's gonna bake. Anyhow, I've called AAA. That's what I advi was advised to do, so. I don't know, we'll see. The tire place is closed. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we made it. This is where my little baby is. This is home sweet home for the night. Right behind the tire shop. There's a really cool building there, but I found something really interesting. Wow. Mushrooms. It's like a mushroom mountain. Anyone ever tried almonds dipped in honey? It's delightful. Here I am in my car with two flat tires in the middle of the storm and there's a tornado watch in effect until 4 a.m. So I'm in Hot Springs, which is in Garland County. So this is definitely a new experience. And all I can do at the moment is enjoy the sounds of the rain. Also, just to let you know, the reason I'm here is because all the tire places were closed on Sunday, so I had to stay until Monday to get them done. And I just decided to get out and experience some of the rainwater in Arkansas on my skin. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I survived the night, and they're open. I was really fortunate that it was basically a best case scenario. I had punctures in my tires and they were able to fix them for 15 bucks each. And something that's super awesome is I was able to call back at the bathhouse, which was Quapaw Bathhouse, and schedule another bath. But before I did that, I wanted to head over and check out this natural spring. Now this water was so incredibly hot. When I put my hand in there, it was like immediately I wanted to take it out because it was scolding. It's probably the hottest natural hot spring water that I have felt on my skin. And it was really interesting because I spoke with the local and they said that sometimes the homeless people will get in there and I just cannot imagine getting in this water. I feel like I would just fry up like a lobster and here I am about to get in my bath. I'm so grateful to be able to fully submerge and soak in the water for a good 20 minutes. At the creek I was so on edge that I was only able to be in there for a few minutes because I didn't want to be discovered so here I just got to relax and of course you know I could not leave without filling up my water bottles with this natural spring water from Arkansas what a blessing Where are you thank you so much Happy to get local spring water from the area. It's so special. 
the guy right there was saying that I gotta try it on my house plants. He said his house plants love spring water. He said they, they tell him they look better, shinier, thicker, and if he uses regular tap water, he can tell like the plants talk to him they're like no give me the good stuff and then I was like yeah he was like you know the chlorine's not good and I was like no I mean imagine what it does to your gut your microbiome the good bacteria I bet it kills them and he was like I know it does so it's good stuff all right guys that's it for this video thanks for tuning in thanks for joining me I really do hope that you enjoyed it we're on to our next destination now so stay tuned for that and I'll see you real soon Mwah.